There's one. That was cool. Pretty one. Put tried the blue, bit more of a blue gilly colour. I like this colour, it's a good natural colour. But perfect way to just cover some water, but that's just a great way to, you know, we were really concentrating on this vegetation up here, throwing a frog and flipping and getting in tight, but out here there's bluegill are starting to spawn and we've got overcast conditions and so those fish can move out of there and swim around and be comfortable and hunt all day. So that can actually make it kind of difficult because instead of the fish being predictable, they're a little bit of everywhere. So what we've got to do is cover water. I'm continually, I've got the trolling motor on about five and I'm just moving. I'm just moving all the time. I'm moving around. I'm trying to find where these fish are and I'm not fishing a bait, like I'm not flipping to certain things and fishing slow. I'm, I'm making big long casts and covering these vast flats. And that's the best way to do it on an overcast windy day. Cover water until we run into them. I let, uh, either a concentration of fish or sometimes it's just one here, one there. And to do that, you have to cover a lot of water to catch that, that one fish here and there. And that's what we're doing today. This bass. Oh, good one. This is like 101. Just keeping an eye out on your surroundings. We'll <clears throat> look down at 360, seeing the big bluegill beds that are bedding right now. Same kind of time as when the bass do. And when some are done, they're gonna head out and eat those bluegill. And all over this flat, we've got beautiful vegetation, but right here, there's a big patch of bluegill beds. And uh, saw it, backed off a little bit through the, the Arashi cover pop up there. It's the perfect, perfect bait to just work over that shallow beds. And that fish came up and ate it. Cool one, the old black blotch on his head. He's up there eating those bluegill. So there's a couple different ways I like to fish these shallow water flats at this time of the year. First one is just creep around on my old tracks and just slowly move and just work different areas, different structures and cover, cover a little bit of ground. But once I get around some stumps, uh, lay downs, some grass patches, stuff I really want to work, I'm going to drop those raptors down in the one spot and then I'm going to fan cast all around. I'm going to hit each and every one of those pieces of structure that I want, pick them up, move forward, drop them again and work it over. So that's the sort of two ways that I really like to do it. And then I'm always, you'll see me, even though we're in three feet of water or less, I'm looking down at that 360 the whole time. I'm looking for stumps and lay downs that aren't out of the water that other anglers might miss. So the best and easiest way to find these big shallow flats where these bass want to hang out in the springtime is not getting out on the water and driving around trying to find them. I found this area before I even put my boat on the water and that was through my Lake Master mapping. And so it has a shallow water and depth highlight. And what I did was set my shallow water highlight to five feet or less. And so this bay turned red, the entire bay. There was no deep water contours before it. The entire bay was red. So I know this is a huge five feet flat. And as you can see down here, here's our boat. This entire bay and arm here is all red. And then the contours start back here. So we came up into this bay and then this is where we started to find the bluegill beds and instantly started catching bass. That was cool. See that? Oh, good one. That was awesome. Changed my retrieve to a blooping retrieve and instantly got a result on the very first cast. Man, that is so cool. This is where those beds were, those bluegill beds. Changed up my color of the cover pop to exactly what those bluegill look like. And then instead of doing the fast walk retrieve, one more time. Oh, he came off, bugger. Well, changed up colors, still didn't get quite the result, but I've been doing this short, sharp twitching. And 
we got back over around these beds and I just, on my very first try, I just mixed my retrieve up and I went with a blooping retrieve and I just slowly blooped it and let it sit, blooped it and let it sit and that fish reacted to it straight away. So that's a great um, lesson right there that, you know, if they're not biting it, there's a reason. Mix up your retrieve, same bait, same color, just slightly different retrieve and got a reaction. Oh my God, that's a big one. Stay on baby, stay on. This is the spot. Get around these bluegill beds. It's not as big as I thought, originally thought, but that was pretty cool. Got one twitch. Nice. Pretty fish. In this whole lake, there's one really good patch of bluegill beds. And every time we get around it and we throw this cover pop up there, one eats it. It's absolutely smoked it. Yeah, pretty fish.